Hey guys, it's with Summer Undecided. So I've been having a pretty bad year this year. Um, in January, my dog died. In August, my grandmother died. The last grandparent I have. Um, and then the last week of October, my mom's dog died. And that one was worse than anything because she was like my little sister. I even called her Sissy and May May and all that stuff. And then two days after she died, our house burned up. So I am sitting in a hotel room right now um, doing absolutely nothing because I also got laid off from my job. So I can't wait until 2013. Um, what else has been going on? My niece was born. That's good. She's a cute little thing. She was five pounds when she was born. Um, that was one of the good things. Let's see, what are the other good things of this year? I went to Can't Stop the Serenity in Norfolk, Virginia, um, June 23rd. And then Last weekend, I think, I went to a comic book convention where I live, and that one was called Hero Bot Con. Um, so, it's been a... And then I got pulled over today. <laughs> okay. So I drive this hot pink Dodge Neon that has a unicorn all over the hood, um, which is fine and everything, but it has... The muffler on it is broken, um, it's broken up near where it connects to the engine. I guess it's the exhaust. The exhaust is broken up there. And it's been broken for probably, I want to say, three or four years. And I just got pulled over for it today when I went to get on the highway. Um, he didn't give me a ticket or anything, which is good because I really can't afford a ticket right now. So... I'll have to get that fixed um, eventually here when I can afford it. What else has been going on? I think that's about everything. Oh, I'm a little excited now aside from the whole getting pulled over thing which totally ruined my day today. I was having a pretty good day. Well, semi okay. I went to a craft show which was at my high school that I went to school at. Um, it kind of sucked. There wasn't a lot of stuff there. In the, I don't know, every time I walk into that school, I just hate it. Like, I don't know why, but I just, I walk in and I get this loathing feeling. I don't know. I was standing there and I'm like, you know, I kind of wish a truck would just drive right through the building right now. <laughs> I mean, that's not very nice to say, but I don't like that school. I don't know why. I didn't really have a bad time there or anything. I think... The only reason I liked it when I was there was because I had my friends there and now it's just, I don't know, I hate it. I hate going in there. I didn't know how much I hated it until I was actually in there today, but, um, what else? I'm still getting bugged because I'm not dating anyone. My parents are bugging me, my bosses when I was working were bugging me, the one was trying to set me up with his son, and that one... He got my mom hooked on it, so she was trying to set me up with his son, too, because his son makes, like, a lot of money or something. And that was so important to my mom that he made a lot of money. But I got laid off from there, so I won't have to worry about that one. But, and now my brother and his fiance, because they got engaged yesterday, she was bugging me that I don't have anyone yet. And my aunt and my uncle complaining because I ain't dating. I I don't have any dates and they think I should settle down and get married and start having kids and everything and uh, I'm only 24. Okay, I really don't need to be having kids and getting married and all this other stuff, especially when I don't have a secure job right now. Being laid off is not secure. I can't afford to rent a place right now. I have to stay with my parents which is completely the worst idea ever, especially since the house just burned down. So, now I'm just looking for a job. 
if I can get a job away from everyone, then I'll sell the truck that I have that still doesn't run right and use that money for rent to get away. And that is kind of irritating my parents too because I'm looking all over the country. And we have some friends that live down in North Carolina. Well, they think I should go stay with the friends down in North Carolina and find a job down there. I don't care where I go to find a job as long as I get a job and it's not here. So, we have been not really arguing, but debating, I would say. Debating that issue. What else? I don't know. I believe that is it for now. Oh, I gotta show you what I got today. Because I was so happy they found it. First of all, I went to FYE to look for the movie Slither. Because, one, Nathan Fillion is in it. And two, I heard it was really funny. I saw this um, clip on YouTube about oh you should look it up it's um mr pib the uh was it mayor can't find mr pib and that's a clip on youtube you should find it so there's slither i got it you see it's 3.99 i got it used the new one was like 9.99 so hello gonna get the used one but i was happy because they had this it's a blue sun t-shirt you can't see it very well. Oh, 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 there you go. Blue Sun. Which is, um, if you know Firefly and Serenity, that's what Blue Sun is. It's the company there. So I was happy about that. And then I got a um, small sewing machine because I want to start sewing like my own clothes and pillows and everything. Especially since I don't have very many. This, this shirt here is a brand new one I got at Kmart because... The only clothes I have were the ones I was wearing Saturday, and <laughs> that was the same day as the comic book convention. So the clothes that I have to wear is <clears throat> a Firefly outfit. So it's like the pants and a shirt that, if you put them together, looks more cowboy, space, space cowboy kind of stuff. Not really the kind of thing you want to go out in public with all the time. So, uh, I had to get some more clothes. But it's nice because a lot of the Halloween stuff was on clearance, so I got Halloween Spongebob pajamas <laughs> for like seven bucks at Kmart to wear. Uh, so that's when, what's been going on with me. Uh, can't wait for 2013. Uh, and I will try to keep you guys updated, but you've seen how well that works lately. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, with that in mind, I will see you guys later, or talk to you guys later since I'm not really seeing you since you're on the internet and you can't really see people on the internet other than videos. Okay, later.